<laughs> yes, people, it's your boy BTV Max. I've got a very special guest for me today. What are you saying, bro? We're here, we're here, we're here. And with the man with many talents, Mr. Oh, Hope. What are you oh, saying? Bro, you good? Man. I'm good, man. I'm all right. So, first of all, people know you from Top Boy. Of course. But course. If, you, if you're a fan of you, you know you're as a rapper and now a singer. Yeah. Is there anything else? That's it for now. For now? <laughs> for now. So you got some drip? Are you into your fashion? Bro, or is this yeah, just this is little, casual? Little something, something casual. Bro. Little something like, casual, man. Mad. Showing me off as well. Yeah, <laughs> then what, you were you saying you was 17, 16, 17 in the first yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, when you first... Yeah, I was 16 when I got the role. And when Damn, you started, 16. you were 16 years old. Yeah. And so when you got the role, did you know, like, Dave's going to be in a new season and Drake's no, wondering no, it? Did no. you know that stuff? No, so... No, I knew Drake was exec producer. Yeah. But I didn't know his involvement. Yeah. Because obviously when he, when he got announced that it's coming back, it was like, oh, Drake's the one that brought it back. Mm. So I was thinking, rah. Like, so wait, so you found that out, having filmed it or like... No, no, no. So that was so just knowing you had the I role. Drake yeah. was going to... Because I think it was, it was probably... No, it's like when, they, when they got announced, oh, Top Boy's coming back, it was, it was like, yeah. it got announced saying, oh, Drake's um, brought Mad. it back. He brought it to Netflix. I was like, oh, rah. What's going on? Yeah. And then um, obviously audition and all of that. And then the first day was the read through. We didn't know Drake was going to be there. Man just came to the reef. I think man was at NCS that day, bro. You was at NCS? Was at NCS no yeah. way. I, I found out, oh. What, so you're in some random uni bro, kitchen one day? some random place, and yeah. With Drake. Like, they called him and like, oh, you need to get to, um, I don't know where it was. We need to get to this this hotel. Mm. So I get, oh, we need to rush there now. So I rushed down in sliders, bro, because I'm at NCS. I didn't have none of my stuff and I didn't want to go back change. <laughs> so I ran there in sliders. Got there, I don't know who's gonna be there, and I see Mike's. So obviously, I knew Mike, Mike yeah. at this point. I really learned I knew him because we went, we went to school together. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, he's two years below me, but obviously, I knew him Mad. from school already. So I'm there, I see them, so I'm like, yeah, Carl, Carl, Carl. I yeah. see Ashley, I see Kano, I'm like, rah, da, 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 cool. Is this the first time you met everyone then? Yeah, yeah. Like those but love. then, bro, man stepped inside, and I see Dave sitting there, I'm thinking, what the hell? I'm so you didn't know Dave's in it at no, this point? No, we didn't know he's in it. So I'm thinking, why is he there? And then, yeah, obviously, find out, yeah, he's in there. Um, when you first see Drake, are you thinking Drake's in this? <laughs> no, but this is the thing. So Drake didn't come yet. So at this oh, point, I've right, seen okay, Dave. Okay. Thinking, bro, what's going on? I've met Ashley Kane. Of course, mm. I know they're going to be there. So I was expecting that. But Dave was like, raw. And like, Dave was my favourite artist. Yeah. Especially at the time, man, man 16. Like, that's what I was popping yeah, yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking, raw. Like, what, what's going on? Anyway, sat down, done a read through. Yeah, it was the end. So I'm thinking we're leaving now. And then, then the producer... He's like, no, 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 I sit down, we've got, we got someone that's going to say a few words. I'm thinking, yeah, you, like, you, yeah. you're dead left to talk. Yeah, yeah. Bro, behind, man, so I'm sitting right behind the, the, the big double doors. I want to see Drake to step in, bro. I was like, With security? Um, he had one of his guys. Just one. One Damn. of his guys. And he stepped in. I was thinking, raw. Because obviously we knew he was exactly new, but I didn't mm. think he's going to be on the ground. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. He was actually coming to check in. He gave a little speech. Mad. Then we spoke to him. Said, yeah, and he just bigged us up and showed love, and that was it. Was he blessed? Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Damn. Show love and then... Is that the only time you like met Drake? Or was, did I he come him, to any of the premieres or anything? I met him two other times. I met him... When did I meet him? I met him at the premiere. Right. The first premiere, the red carpet. So he, he, he'd already off, seen it at that point, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so at the first the, he's like, oh, this is the guy playing yeah, Aaron. Yeah, yeah. But just, then he's like, oh, no, you're Aaron. Seen yeah. It. yeah, then he's right. seen it. Right. Um, so when I said, yeah, to the premiere, then we all went to a club after. Oh, is it? Um, yeah, at this point. H16? Bro, no, so I was 17. No, so I was 17 at this point. Oh, but if you're rolling out, with Drake, bro, if you're rolling with Drake. So I was with all the guys, so they didn't question nothing. Yeah. I'm with Kane, I'm with Drake. These guys didn't question nothing, man, got inside, bro. Yeah. It was lit still. It was Mad. Lit still. That's a, What's that like, like clubbing with them? Um, it was lit. Yeah. Was lit. So that was my. I think was that my. Yeah, that was my first club experience. What club was it? Um, what club was that? It? Is not a I bad first club story, you know. I don't remember, but that's the first club I went to. Bro, the first club I paid three pound entry in Tram Shed and Tooting. Had the worst night of my life. That was my first club experience. Bro, Damn. it was mad. Still, so you had Drake in there, then obviously other people, other faces that were at the premiere came mm. through. So you had like I don't know, you had gigs there, you had like Ooh. Dave there, obviously. Ooh, just something was like lit, man. that's lit. sick, man. You and Michael were living it up, still. Yeah, obviously, bro, I'm that's. Come. Yeah, he was he was too yeah, young. Fourteen, there's no chance. But obviously, I went to to, to Sham <laughs> Damn, fair play, like, man. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So that's like how it started. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Did you just like accept it, or is it still like there must have been some um, what's it called uh, impo like imposter syndrome, no? Or or were you kind of just like ready? Um, I guess when you're so young, you kind of have no pressure, really. Like, I mean. I didn't feel, I don't know. I don't feel I felt mad, mad pressure, but I, I still feel it was a bit like, it was surreal at points. Yeah. You know, when it first came out. Yeah, I can like, imagine. Getting recognised and that. Obviously, when I was still in school, well, I was in sixth form. You must have been in a celeb at so school, like, yeah. It was mad, didn't it? Like, Damn. It was, it was, it was, it was different. Um, things changed a bit to an extent. And yeah, it was, but I didn't feel 
mad pressure like right? yeah 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 don't know what to do next but and yeah. I guess it was like because it was the comeback at top where like we knew there was going to be new stories yeah. we knew it was kind yeah. of a clean slate so in that way it was just like it was your chance isn't it it was your yeah. time to no, make something true. of it and boy what a job you did as well yeah. so obviously you Max Arroyo and like you say did you know how did you know Max beforehand I didn't, I didn't. you didn't so no, this was so where you, him, how you met him yeah I met him at the um at the audition, yeah. Obviously, that's like so you had to audition now. as a three now, or like no, no, no. That, that was just in the last stage. So right, chemistry. they put so you three, three yeah. stages, yeah. So last stage of the audition was chemistry. He already had the role. Mm. Um, well, actually, he already had the role of Aaron, but then all like, he nah. was meant to play Aaron. Yeah, but then all like, nah, I need to. The one of the directors was like, nah, I need to give him Jamie. Like, give him Jamie. Right. Yeah, and he got Jamie. Did you audition for Aaron? Yeah, I audition always audition. Right. right. So at this point, he was trying to be Jamie this is before. Yeah, but Damn. he was already Jamie. So now when I've done done my thing now. They're like he's already Jamie, um, but we're just doing chemistry. Re so it was like me, yeah. and two other guys are auditioning for Aaron, um, and then there was Aaron's character. Two yeah. other guys are auditioning for for Stefan. Yeah, and then yeah, we just we just mixed and matched it. Oh, Obviously, I already know Aaron Lyons, so the chemistry was. So already you there, already so had that chem, and what? then yeah, Michael. It was just it made sense. That's my that's my older brother since. Literally. So yeah, like that's, that's what I love seeing that you two like what do everything together, yeah, isn't it? Like you got on holiday together yeah. and all that, man. So is it like that with Aroloyan as well? Uh, yeah, I mean Aroloyan already knew him. He's really yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's really like little bro. Straight. But like since Top Boy, is it been yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, Obviously, we're closer since Top Boy. Mad. Is there anyone else in the cast that you're like? Because obviously you three are, play all your scenes like together. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone else in the cast that you're like good friends with since Top Boy? Um, not as close with them, lot. Yeah. Um, but Kadeem. Oh yeah, of Kadeem, course. Yeah, that's my bro. Um, Jasmine. Oh yeah. Jasmine as well. Yeah, I say this to them not, but how I mean, about um who is it? Abby, the g your girlfriend in it. Nah, I don't speak <laughs> as much. I don't speak as much. I nah. think that was because the age gap. We got so oh, older she... than man. Oh, is it? Yeah. So obviously when we was doing that, as I said, I was 16, 17. She was 29, 30. So oh. Age gap. Oh, your lips are yeah, on camera. No, it was a mad age Ooh. gap. Oh. So that's why we didn't really. Not that we didn't get on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but obviously on, naturally but was, she's yeah, almost was, double your age. Yeah, like obviously. Yeah, we just don't have much in common. So. Yeah, no, I hear it. But she was Damn. Cool. She was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Unique. <laughs> Is that her name? Yeah, Unique. Unique, mad. Unique, shout out. Unique and Hope. That's a... mad <laughs> stuff. Being in Top Boy, you're kind of cursed with all the annoying fans, all the annoying questions. Like, uh, like you must get harassed with it. Like, what, what are, like, the most annoying ones that people want to say to you? Is Jamie dead? Is it's Jamie dead? Like, bro, you got shot in the head, like. <laughs> let's be serious. I, I've seen guys saying, is it a dream? I don't know where... Ah, uh, bro, that one annoys me so much. I thought it was just... I thought it was a joke at first. I know, uh, yeah. I thought, I thought that's some um, Horrid Henry, Tracy V. Right, I was thinking, I don't know what show you guys are watching. It's not Stranger Things, like. <laughs> it's not magic, bro. <laughs> There's like, no upside down, like. There's none of that, like. If guys die, they're dead. Like, yeah. Yeah, um... But obviously it's love though, man. They're just, they're just yeah, awesome because yeah, obviously yeah. they have their fans of the show and they they just excited. Yeah. People it? still asking if you're studying for uni or something Bro, like that. Did you did you graduate? Yeah. <laughs> you that? But it all comes from love of the show. That's what I'm I saying. guess it's so love. It's not... just can't even can't even get mad. Mm. Can't. Anything you can tell us about a new series coming out? Can't talk. You can't talk about that now. I can say. No. Like, any like random facts about your time on set? Any funny stories? Anything you want to share that like maybe um, no one's seen that people don't get to see the sides of? I'll be real. Any time where it's me and me and Max and I learn on set is 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 lit still. Yeah. Like I think that one of the best days. In fact, no. Nah, there was one day where everyone came in, and this was on the last day of season one. Mm. I, I wasn't even filming. I was finished. I was yeah. wrapped at that point, but I just came in anyway. And it was a scene where it's a shootout. I don't know if you remember in season one was a yeah, shootout yeah. with Jamie. Jamie. Is it, is it Kano? Is that Kano. A, the, at the um, garage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dave as well. There was a shootout. Yeah. Yeah, so that that was the last day of filming. But I just pulled up anyway. That day was fun. So, yeah. Because it was just fun to just see, like, them, them type of stuff behind the scenes is always lit. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. The shootout and that with all the. Um, the play guns. Yeah, the play guns. <laughs> it, was, it was lit still. And obviously, I sort of saw Dave. That's when I sort of. I actually got to talk to him for the first time. Right, cool. okay. Um, I was fanboying though. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. I, I, I can imagine, bro. Like, man, obviously, man's 16. Yeah. You've seen your favourite artist. I just had two and you're questions. And it's not even like you just happen to be in a room with him. Like, you're working bro, with him. Like, you're you're I on the same project too, together. Too many questions. I don't know what I was asking. Were you, were you just waffling? Yeah. <laughs> two questions. My used to laugh at me for that. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it, was that, it was that funny. It was that deep. But no, nah, it was cool though. Was yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, Dave was, was cool with it, yeah. yeah, yeah it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gets that bears, though, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's Dave. Like, he's yeah, literally Dave. Cool, I'd yeah. do the same, man. I can't lie. But no, nah, it was good. That that day was funny, though. It was a good day. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So what? What's next for you as an actor? You're working on something this week, do you know? Yeah, so I'm doing a. Well, as we're, I don't know when it's coming up, but as we're filming this, yeah, I'm doing a film right now. Mm. I'm not even allowed to talk on it, but it's it's for it's coming out on Netflix. Okay, so it'll be good. It'll be good to. You don't know when it's be, coming out, nah. 
I believe there's no there's no date right now, but I know they're aiming for the end of this year, twenty twenty three, right. or beginning of twenty twenty four. So yeah. Exciting man. Yeah, that one's gonna be I wanna talk on that one man, but can't you can't you can't man. Yeah, can't that was too actually much. fun. Yeah. I actually had mad fun on that one. Obviously yeah. not done yet, but yeah. That oh, one's man. mad. That it's one. mad, yeah, because obviously being an actor like is a it's a balance because you're working, yeah. but at the same time, if you're in a room of all these people, like saying you're with Dave, like yeah, you want to just nice. enjoy it as well, like yeah. I think now I'm kind of like used to. I feel like I've met so many yeah, you've got people now. You understand this like, like work, yeah, and I've yeah. sort of met all my heroes. I guess all, yeah, I all your I, kind I, of fanboy moments. Like, yeah, I don't think I think that's all. This yeah, is whatever now. Yeah, type yeah, of thing, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stars in Top Boy. Like, it's pretty much yeah. like get over it, kind of. Well, not over it, but like. Yeah, I mean, go that's, through the paces you know quite is, quickly. Obviously, that's what made that's what I love the most about like acting and and top where like the rooms that it's got my into. So like, say, fashion week. Like, I've met. I don't even. I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, names, see you at fashion week. Yeah, bro. Like I've gone to. I go to fashion week. And what is that? People inviting you straight, or is it like yeah, top yeah. boy? So like, yo, like, who? So who like, it'll, it'll be a mixture. Week? So. It'll be, I, I usually go with Hermes, so Hermes the the brand. So I go with their their show. It's not a nice. That's Bro, a like, decent brand to flex, be looked after, isn't it? Subtle flip, but no, nah, literally, I got I got a good relationship with them. They Jeez. actually they go take care of and they give mm. like whatever. It's I'm like, you speak French as well, so like go into I mean, a little bit. I'm learning. I need to pattern it up properly. Like. Oh, so you, you've learned French, yeah? It's not yeah, yeah, like, I'm learning. I'm learning. Mad. So I can talk a bit. Like when when I got some of the French fans writing in French, I can understand. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Extent. But my, 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 it's my French. Yeah, speaking. I can speak a bit, decent bit as well. Bro, know, my spe- it's my speaking and listening that needs. That's the hardest need part. Work. Yeah, like, reading, reading and writing. I'm alright. If you're a, a person writing to me in French, I can nine times out of ten I'll be able to understand it. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So I'm there with Hermes a lot. Like I've got a good relationship with them. They take care of me whenever I have a, um, like anything. They'll dress me. Mm. They'll give me whatever. Um, but then when I'm there, that's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. But obviously when you I'm got there, a size large, yeah. you got a new size large. Just a left 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 left. <laughs> but when I'm there in in Paris, mm. the, everyone's there, bro. So yeah. any, every single like every actor, any musician, name someone they're there. Bro. Like if, yeah. if you name someone right now, I guarantee I've met them at some point. Mad, so or mad, mad. I guarantee mad. it. It's mad because so I studied in France for six months. That's how I know mm. a little bit oh, of French. Yeah? But uh, in Paris as well. And this was when Top Boy came out. This is when okay. the, that season of Top Boy came out, the first mm. one of, of the Netflix lot. And um, because I was in a French uni, so all these French people going, Max, what is uh, what is in it? Why do all these people say in it? So the, but I was teaching them slang okay. from Top Boy. From Top Boy so yeah. every everyone was watching it, like all over the world. Even That's um, right. the Australian rapper I was interviewing the other week, mm. he was like, I was showing him UK drill, and I was like, Do you understand these words? He's like. Yeah, I watched Top Boy. I was like, oh, man, it's like that. Like, yeah, Top Boy is global, bro. I know, like, it's huge. It's huge. It's mad. Like, when I go to Paris, but I probably get more love in Paris. Mad. when I go to Paris. Literally, mad. Like, it's mad. Like, and a lot of my friends, cause I got a lot of French friends as well, mm. and they they even tell me, like, yeah, that like, Top Boy is, is, is big over there. Damn, it's that's mad. a nice feeling, isn't it? It is. It's Damn. Nice. All right, let's talk about music. Yes. So, what, since Top Boy came out, you've been releasing music, but... yeah. How long have you been making music? Has that been something you've always been doing? So I've been making music from way before I started dropping. So I I started off, I have to go to the beginning for it to make sense. Okay. So I started off with dance, yeah. Really? Yeah, when I was like, we're well, talking ages like... So I've seen you bust some moves in, what, you, what song you, was it? Uni? uni, or, uni. Yeah, you you're skank, dancing. Just, <laughs> little, little, little skank. Yeah. But, no, when I was like eight, between the ages eight up to 13, I would say, mm. I, was, I used to dance in it. Um, in plays, musicals. Right, okay. so I was, you know, like when you go to a musical, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like when the big song comes on and then the kids come on and start dancing, that was me. Oh, like, really? Like still. on the West End, like proper musical? Yeah, yeah. Like, Mad. I, I used to dance still. That's, that used to be my thing. So obviously, because I'm in plays, you're around, you're, you're acting as well. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. You're dancing. You, you have to. You're, you're like, playing a part yeah, in the whole story of the thing. You're also having yeah. to sing. Yeah. You're yeah. having to sing along with the chorus. Right. Or whatever the song is. I was sort of introduced to it through there I really like film and acting in general because mm. my dad's quite a film he's quite a film person like yeah. he's, he's one of those film like you name a film from whatever he's year he knows and, he'll tell you right. the whole cast or whatever like that's my dad same with okay. music if you name a song from whatever he'll, he'll, he'll know be able it. to tell you Mad, okay. so I've always been around it type of thing so from then when I was doing plays I was like you know what my mum was like oh you might as well do those performing, art, performing arts class so she put yeah. me through performing arts class I was doing dancing singing and acting Right. Every Saturday um, for like a few hours, a few hours every week, mm. and then um, as I said, I was more into dance. So I wasn't really into the singing. I was like, nah, this I'm not, mm. I'm not into it. But then I got into it more. I had a, I had a teacher, Shaka. Do you know Shaka? Yeah. Yeah, he was my teacher, bro. No way. Just before. Bro, I've literally got, got like music. Shaka's poster there as well. Bro, I saw him last. This bro. one here, literally right here. He signed as well. I love yeah, Shaka. Guy, He's got such a good voice. Yeah, man. Bro. 
Shout out Big up Shaka. Damn, him. he was a teacher, yeah. Yeah, so this is before he dropped music, so... Crazy. I didn't even like singing like that. Yeah. And then Shaka, because I like Shaka, yeah. I was like, yeah, you know what, let me get involved. And yeah, literally, bro. Like, Shaka was my teacher, and then he Damn. left because he was going to start dropping music. Yeah, wow. I think that was when he dropped... What was his first man. song? I don't remember what, what song he had, it was. He had time with Rich, which is when I first come on to yeah. him. He must have... He must have not so that was a bit after, so he dropped something before... Mm. Cause he's like he's gonna leave because he won't full time going to music so he's, he wasn't teaching anymore and then he went into dropping music but yeah Shaka was my teacher so that's when I got a bit more into singing so the music right um, it's then, mad how a good teacher can bro, change your life change, and Shaka is a prime Shaka, example bro, damn shout out Shaka man I still I talk to him now and again yeah then acting mm. went to acting as well from there and I, that's when I started to acting sort of overtook dancing mm. at that point. I wasn't really, I was thinking, where could I really mm, do dance dancing? Like that, yeah. So I stopped dancing. Then I was like, you know, I stopped doing performing arts in general. I was like, you know, I might as well just focus on school. Uh, focus on school for a bit, up until age like, up until 16. Reminds me of some character you play. <laughs> Literally, reminds me of some, reminds me of Aaron. Um, I finished GCSEs about start A-levels, mm. and then top world editions came out. And, and I, I was starting to get into, bit into acting that year anyway, because mm. I did the school play. You know everyone does a school yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I was, yeah. I was doing drama for GCSE yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was starting to get more into acting again. I was like, oh, right, like, I don't even know why I stopped type of thing. Like, I actually yeah. enjoy it. And given you can do it at school yeah, to an extent do, as well. Yeah, do it at school, bro. So I was like, and then Top Way auditions came out at the same time. So I was like, bro. So Top Way was your sense. first proper job. like Yeah. Wow. My first job. So I was like, no, it makes sense. I need to actually get back into it. Got back into it. It made sense. And the top boy. And that's acting. So that's how acting got back into the picture. Yeah. Dancing never really did mm -hmm. come back. It might come back later. Yeah, you got some music videos, you know. You know you might it, might, to... it might come back, but that's how acting came back. Now, music, um, as I said, I'd always been around music and I've, like, I've studied the scene, bro. I listen to everything. Like, mm. America, America, here, French rap, everything mm. that comes out, I've pretty much taken everything from rap Sick, to R&B, yeah. whatever. Like, I listen to a lot of things. So I've always been into music. Mm. But I used to write as well, but like, I'd write bars, but I feel like a lot of boys do this. Like, they yeah, write yeah, bars yeah. and don't just, necessarily yeah, have intention of fun, music, yeah. But I used to always, but my thing used to be punchlines. I used to like writing punchlines. So mm -hmm. I, I'd have a notes page and it would be just punchlines. And then one time, this was just after, was it during lockdown? No, it was after lockdown because we wouldn't mm. be able to. This was like 2021. Yeah. And we've gone to, um, my boy is Billy. So he's, yeah, gone, yeah. To, he's gone to the, um, the studio. He just booked it. He's like, oh, you come to the studio? I was like, fam, why are you going to the studio? Because at this point, he'd never made music before. I was like, why yeah. are you going to the studio? Bro? It doesn't make sense. He's like, no, 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 we're going. It'll be fun. Because me and Billy, whenever it was that like, chilling man, then we'll just freestyle. You know yeah, what yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, just, yeah. Just, just waffle. But he's like, let's go to the studio. We could actually write something. Like, just come Bring in. some bars, yeah. So I was like, come. Anyway, ended up going. I was with, having fun. With the notes, like, yeah. yeah just the no I was having fun. I was like, man, can actually, I can actually see myself doing it still. Mm. Started writing. Sometimes literally, the, you need to be in like, the environment. That's what it was. So I was like, yeah, he took me to the studio. And then we, I think in that one month, bro, we went at least like every two, three days. That was Stop the Rain songs. was made. Yeah, yeah. So that's what Stop the Rain was. Stop the Rain was literally one of our first songs. And this one, 2.5 yeah. million streams. Yeah, yeah, How's that feel? Mil. It's good still. <laughs> it's good. I mean, the first song to do well, it feels, it feels nice. Mm. It's good. It's, it's, it makes me feel like, yeah. You got something to do it. Yeah, yeah there's, there's something there. Uh, but yeah, we started making better music. But obviously, I didn't want to release straight away because. You know how there's a whole sort of there's a there's a stigma of like where you have people that are doing other things and then you come into music. So like I was thinking, if I'm gonna do it, I need to do it properly or yeah. I need to come with quality yeah. type of thing. So I was like, let me just make music for a bit, then release later. But I wasn't even gonna release when Stop the Rain came out. I think I went live mm. and then someone heard it, like, oh what tune is that? And I was like, Oh, it's one of my tunes, played it, and then it was one of those ones, and I was like, I might as well just drop it, like just, yeah. just see what see what it's saying, see if it makes sense to drop yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Obviously it did well. Damn. And then, yeah. Obviously, I dropped it around the same time, Top Way Camps. People were already on my page anyway, mm. so they were seeing it. And then, yeah, done it, done this thing. So Crazy. Like, oh, might, might as well be a music thing. I'm what, so now you got some EPs loaded, you were saying? Yeah, I got bet, bro. I'm sitting on music. Like, I've actually got a lot of stuff. That's how I know you're an established years. artist now. Yeah. Every artist is just sitting on I'm music. Sitting yeah. On music. Like, I've got projects that I've got ready, but I was like, I'm going to wait first. We'll drop, do some singles, yep. get yep. some yep. traction. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And then, then we'll drop the EP. But I got my first EP done that I started two yeah. years ago. Bro, I got projects in it. Like, yeah, I've got man. stuff, I've got music. Yeah. That's exciting, man. And obviously, in the in the like what five six songs you've released, you've not even yeah. released that many. Four, literally four, four songs. Yeah, I four two weeks ago. Damn! But within that, we've seen loads of different styles from you. Yeah. Like we've seen yeah. you sing, we've seen some melodic, we've seen rap. Like yeah. we've seen range. Like and I rate it as well. Like you've obviously got so much talent, and then it makes sense hearing you talk about how you've done well. One, just all the arts 
as well as you studied all the music, like you know all the songs and that's mm. come from your dad and stuff like that's my, have you got like a preferred sound or you are you enjoying being so versatile? I feel like there's, there's a hope sound. I don't think it's apparent now because there's too little but you're finding songs it. Out, yeah. But I think I've found that over the course of me making the projects that yeah. I'm talking about. It's hard to explain when there's you don't know the music there. Yeah. The music's not out the yeah, yeah. to know what I'm talking about. But my I say the closest it's to is you see, like on Drake's old tapes, yeah, he'll be rapping, but he's singing as well, yeah, yeah, or like he'll be rap on a verse or singing a hook. That's yeah. a lot of how a lot of my so music you, is. you can do both like that, yeah, and that's you're how comfy I, doing that as yeah, well. That's what I like to do. Music. I like to rap on the verse and sing on the hook. and sing on the hook. I don't like rapping, on yeah, the hook more time, yeah. Or well, sometimes I do. Like obviously, stop the rain. I do a bit. Yeah, obviously yeah. I mix the match in it because I yeah. had the melodic thing as well. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and yeah. it works. It works really nicely. Yeah. Like, stop the rain's a great example. Stop the rain of, works well of me doing bit of both. both. But obviously, you can't box me as well. It's mm. like man's rapping on the and then there's the melodic like. It breaks and there's a yeah, melody. Yeah. I really like, like it. A little, the middle eight tape. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Drake's probably, but it doesn't sound, I wouldn't say it sounds like Drake, but just in terms but of. But it's that, that's what you can compare yeah, it to. That, yeah. Speaking of Drake, what's your dream collab? If you could collab with any artist in the world? Um, well, just any of my favourites. I got a long list. Oh, is <laughs> but, it? <laughs> Dave on there? Um, yeah, Dave, of course. Dave's on there. Just as he's my favourite artist, we'll stop. Drake. Mm -hmm. It's Drake. I like well, I hope you got an in with both of those guys. <laughs> yeah, it's mad, it's <laughs> Kendrick's also one of my favourite rappers, but yeah, yeah that's, that's a bad I saw his show, you know, when he came to London. Um, bro? Yeah. <sighs> special. Kendrick's, special. Kendrick's that guy. Because he's got my favourite my favorite rap album, Spin Butterfly. Is it? Yeah, that's my favourite rap album, so. I, to be fair, Mr. Moran and Big Step was, that was my album that's, of the year last a, year, man. Yeah, I loved that, that so a, much. That was a good album. All of his albums, he doesn't have a bad album. Yeah. That yeah. and, um, no, I got To Pimp. To Pimp, to is, Pimp yeah. That's my favourite. I got some other ones that are not, let's say, rap, so like Ariana Yeah, Grande. that's what I'm saying. You got Ariana Grande, yeah? Yeah, Ariana Grande. Woo! Like I'll do, I'll have, have a sing a hook or something. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Verse. <laughs> <laughs> which will take the verse. Doja Cat. Okay, I'm yeah, I'm yeah. Doja Cat as well. I think she's cool. Like her album Planet Her mm -hmm. is, is. I actually run the album a lot. Man. Oh really? Like, yeah, I'll run that. Like, if man's just did clean the house or something. Yeah, yeah. Run it, literally, bro. <laughs> like, even I'm, hearing this though, it's sick to see that you're not someone. You literally don't box yourself in. Like, you, know, right? there's no limits to I'm, it. Well, like, I'm to what you listen to, to what you would make. Like, the fact that you can see yourself on a song with Dave and a song with Ariana Grande. And there's not it's too many people. Sounds, man, okay, yeah. There's not too many people that can see. Bro, if you could get them on the same song, though, then you're then you're then you're winning at life, bro. That would be good though. All right. So out of the four songs you have. Have released obviously you've made loads so your favorite song of yours probably we haven't heard yet but out of the four mm. what's your favorite no the one i do listen to most is stop the rain because it just when i listen to it i just think of when the, that, that feeling of when i first hit studio and was mm. making music that feeling is, is different but then leaving it then i feel like that's that's hope yeah like that's that's me yeah i think in terms of um just as a as a rapper that's hope mm. i think that's closest but even so, there's other songs I've got released that are a bit you're, closer or, or what I think is better. But yeah, mm -hmm. leave it a dead. I'm trying to think what my one is. I really like Uni, you know. I just like, the, I just like even the video, I just like the vibe of just everyone you know, dancing, like having a good... Yeah. So when I've performed, the few times I've performed, Uni is what pops off the most. Right, okay. Well, yeah. it, is, it is the kind of more dancey yeah, track, more dance isn't it? And just like... I just love seeing people enjoy themselves whilst doing what they love doing. Yeah, so yeah. you're obviously singing, you're performing your song... And you're just dancing with all your friends and it's just a vibe. I just rate it. What is that a barber kid you film that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, a vibe, man. Nice. Alright, well, lastly, I appreciate you chatting to me about all this stuff, man. Like it's it's sick you're so young and where you're going, like it's mad. But question I'll ask everyone, what's a random fact about you? Right. Random that the people might not know. That they might not know. Right. Random anything fact. Anything wild, anything funny, anything crazy, anything about Bro. Top Boy, anything like random fact. Probably gaming. I don't know if people. I feel like some of my followers know it, but not all of them know that. But I'm a mad like I'm a mad nerd when it comes to gaming. Is it? What do you play? Yeah. Well, what don't I, I play everything? Like, really? See, anything? Any single player game that's dropped within the last maybe I go as far to say, not ten years. Let's say six five six or five years. Yeah, I've probably Damn. played it. Is it? I play everything. Bro. What's your favorite? What are you playing right now? Um, no, I'm playing right now. Tears of the Lost Kingdom. Zelda okay. just dropped. So I just started playing that, but I replayed Breath of the Wild quickly. Damn. Um, then I'm gonna jump on that. Pretty much most multiplayer games, apart from like Code and FIFA, I don't really play those anymore. But uh -huh. like, any of the mainland single player games, I'm talking like Spider Man, Hogwarts, yeah. just dropped. Um, Skyrim. And I'm guessing you're good at these games, yeah. Bro, I'm the guy. <laughs> trust me. Well, okay, your parents even get onto you for gaming if you're if you're the successful no, guy. Cool. I mean, <laughs> you know what it is? It's, it's funny because they used to. My mum used to hate when I used to spend. I spent. I used to spend hours on games, bro. Yeah. Like they used to hate it, but they, they couldn't get onto me because my grades were good. Yeah. Like, on an errand thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. So he couldn't get on to me. Like, A levels, I mean, GCSEs especially, like, mm-hmm. man was patterned. I've got nines, A stars across the board. Sheesh. So you couldn't even. They couldn't, they couldn't say anything. Yeah. Like, what thing. were you saying, mum? Huh? Bro, gaming, that's what I spend most of my time doing stuff. It's not music. If it's not Mad. watching a film or on set, I'm, yeah. I'm gaming, bro. Man's Fair play. I mean, everyone needs their, their ways of releasing and whatever Listen, and just signing me. off. And That's me. If I if I wasn't doing that, I'd just game, bro, honestly. Have you ever thought about streaming? Doing gaming streams? Or I'm is, like, is know, gaming just like your release? You know it is? It's kind of just my thing. But no, I hear I, it. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be... I'd be open to it. Yeah. Type of thing. I Maybe down it. the line. Maybe down the line. My, no, I, I respect it. Yeah, mm. that's it, bro. Bro, bro appreciate you chatting to me. Bro. Appreciate it, bro. Sick to hear everything you're doing. And uh, what? Well, we'll, we'll look out for some more hope. Come on, bro. Check it out, man. Love. <laughs>